Okay, we're back. The lace is all stitched onto the scrapbook pages. Um, just wanted to give you another look at this. Move that aside. Um, so I've got my paper sort of organized in a way that makes sense to me. Um, so I have the scrapbook pages in one pile because I want to put uh, one scrapbook page in every uh, every signature. In fact, I'll use the scrapbook page as sort of the anchor page, the outside page. And I've put these in an order that I want them in. Um, and for that reason, on the last signature, I actually put another row of lace so that um, when the book is open from the front, there's lace. And when it's open from the back, there's lace. So that's how I've done that. These, this is 16 pages that includes the six um, writing papers that we um, put together with uh, washi tape. I have four sheets of letterhead. I have four sheets of uh wrapping paper, and I have two of these pages from uh, the gardening journal. So I want two of each of these in each signature. And then I have eight of the um, gessoed music paper. I want one in every one. So that'll get me started. Then I have two, well actually I have three more piles of paper. So in this pile, I have the two guest book um, pages. I have the three greeting cards and I have three envelopes because uh, I consider these kind of like the centers of the page. So I want one of each of these in the, in the centers of the signatures. And then I have um, these um, assorted either pairs or individuals, including the um, page we made out of the pattern paper. So these are the other like little notebook papers and things that we pulled out. Okay. Good enough. Okay. I'm not necessarily going to put them in order right now. Um, but for sure, I'm going to do uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do one of them and we'll do two from this pile. Okay, and I'll just set that aside. So, and we'll flip through later just to see if everything is indeed the way I wish. Okay, so that's another one. This is the fourth one. And like I said, these might get moved around after I flip through and see. Just sort of test driving. Test driving.
two to go. So, um, I should also mention, I said I generally like to use six pages per signature, but when I put all of these into the book, I had a ton of room. So I'm going to actually do seven. Let me just demonstrate that. So I've got a ton of room in there. So we are going to use those for the centers and these, let's marry some of these up. So, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, then I will go the other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Um, mm, I'm going to switch this. Just because I think, I don't, oh, I probably haven't even got that in. I, I was going to have the doily on the um, pattern paper, but I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to switch that out. We have eight, um, so I think I will put the this one in two and six. I will do the envelopes in three. And two, and I will do one card, one card, one card, one, two, oh, and another envelope in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I know I want this card to go in the center. Um, I may split these two smaller pieces of paper up in the signature, but for now we're just putting them in a home. Okay. Q. 
Three. I feel like the owl with the how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. definitely get moved around. Five. And this is the way I like to do it, just to make sure that um, there's a lot of variety and things, you know, things aren't next to one another. Um, it's a smooth transition. And I am going to rethink this. I don't want to have a card and that in there. Um, but let's uh, think about it for a minute. So I feel like I would rather have the pattern, the sewing pattern near the front, you know, because it's sort of a preparatory stage. Um, so I will trade out that. Yeah, you know, sewing wedding dress is kind of the start of the wedding plan. So we'll put that in the second signature. Oh. So, of course, these will be folded, um, and we'll do that as we go through the signatures. Okay, so page one. <laughs> um, I'd like to do some sort of a title feature, or a pocket, or something. Um, where's my box of goodies? Seriously. Seriously, where's my goodies? Oh, here they are. I love this picture. But maybe not, eh? Actually, I have quite a few photographs I've pulled out.
you know, maybe I could make like a skirt to go on her. Oh, that'd be too much. I could use lace. Yeah. So if I gathered this up, removed this piece of cardboard, and made a little skirt on that, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not too fluffy. Um, maybe this fluffy. I like this because it's blue and white. Here she goes. She's getting trimmed. I have to go yell at my husband. Hang on. All right, he's been yelled at. <laughs> Whenever I turn on the video camera, I say, Doug, I'm going to tape a video. Please don't groan, sing, moan, swear, and and he's killing me. But anyway, I took the opportunity to just uh, run a thread through here so I could gather my lace together to make a little skirt for my bride. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Oh, I forgot to say happy anniversary to Natalie. Natalie also celebrated 20 years yesterday. Doug said to me this morning, 40 years of wedded bliss, 20 for you and 20 for me. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a guy all right I'll just get out my fiber tack. Come on, you. Get as flat as possible. Well, I gotta say, it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Okay. Now, um, maybe a doily behind them. got any in here? Oh, of course I do. How could I not? Ooh, 
probably just would dump them all on the ground. Just looking to see what other ones I have in here. This one might be prettier. Oh, he's singing again. Oh my word. Yeah, this one's slightly small. Well, I guess it's not. I like it better though. This one's this one's a prettier lace, but that one works better for me. I'm gonna pause while he comes in here to sing. Okay. Clearly, this is not going to be a good day for me to do any crafting. <laughs> Somebody needs attention. Um, but I will, I put the doily on already. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on so that it can be used as a pocket. Now the cat's meowing. Hi, Gibson. Okay, she is super cute. He's okay. <laughs> what can I do here? Where's my little fussies? Well, those don't show up very good, do they? What about one of the blue ones? Well, that's pretty. I do like that. I'm just going to use a little bit of um, art glitter glue to sort of tack this down. It will dry clear, I hope. I feel pretty secure that it will dry clear and we won't have to worry about that. But I'm just doing a couple of little dots. <laughs> he landed butter side down, butterfly. Okay. Ah, that's pretty. I do like that. Okay. Now. I'm going to move these. Like that.
that works for me. I think I will grab my good paper clips. I always put my paper clips on the back half because that way I know that's the back of the signature and I won't sew it in upside down. So I've just gotten into the habit of doing that. So um, I'm not saying that I'm done with embellishing. Um, I'm just, uh, I don't think there's any sewing that I want to do. So that is signature number one done. Okay, so I'm going to stop for now and um, we'll come back and work on the, the rest of the signatures. Mm -hmm.